everyone and welcome to the Lingard today. I'm cleaning out our homeschool room shelf uh, cupboard and I thought I'd uh, vlog so we can I can record my progress. So I've just taken everything out and now I've got to put it all back in again and find room for the new stuff. So far I've started putting the puzzles back in and the musical instruments. Update where we're at so far. <laughs> and still got quite a lot to fit in. Hmm. <laughs> okay so here we are. Um, some of them aren't in ideal positions, but some of them are going to be used anyway. For example, these experiment kits, once they're used, they'll go out of the cupboard, so space them. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It's tidy enough. Um, everything's got a spot, so we've got puzzles and musical instruments down there. This is the geography shelf, maps and puzzles and things, tube sets. This is language arts. And we've got maths and some science games and then more maths and STEM stuff up there. So that's what it looks like. Next is the math and literacy centre. Working on my bookshelf again today. It looks so, so much better. I need to print off new tags because um, not everything is where it was before because I have moved it all around. So there's a quick sneak peek. I'll show you a bit more in depth once I do my um, school room tour. I also worked on organising my centre today. The rest of our supplies are downstairs organised. So this is a shelf in our living room. And I've got all our crafty type activities here. And then down here I'm organising our imaginative play um, trays. So this is our baby doll one. Um, there's a few different little things in there. She's, got some, she's currently playing with them as well. So that's why there's not much in there. And we also have a vet one. Um, we have a... Uh, Doctor one, uh, we also have, and we also have a little bakery one too. We keep all our little science supplies in this tote downstairs, you've seen that before in my kindergarten favourites video. And I'm just tidying up our drawers, these are in our living room, so this one is um, full of play-doh, so I just need to straighten it a bit, I think too dramatic, just tidy it a little bit. This is the um, play foam down here. Too bad. This one is all the cutters, uh, all the cutters and play do things. I don't need to do anything with this one, that's fine. We have our little bowls which we use for crafts, and she also uses them, uses them for play doh as well. Um, some of our bigger play doh items, they're all nicely organised, don't need to do anything with those. And then this one again has got our, some of our bigger play doh kits in, and again that's fine, so I don't need to tidy that one. So that one's, that's all nice and organised, not too bad for me. Okay, now we're in our kitchen. Um, this is our little art shelf unit. We've got our paints in here. So these are the ones that she can use at any point. Um, and our brushes and our palettes and everything. And then these are the ones we have that are just for school. The reason I separate them is because if we're doing an activity, um, we suddenly don't have the paint because we've already used them. <laughs> um, so that's why I separate them. So these are for school. So I know that we've always got the right colours and everything else we need to do for our activities. And then these ones she can use at any point. We've got our craft drawers here, they're all pretty much fine, it's just um, tidying up a bit, we've got some wool and that's for paper mache and I just need to buy some more things, so in terms of paper and things, um, some more back to school haul uh, paper and stuff like that. The bottom is all of our supplies, the things we haven't opened yet, so stickers we haven't opened yet, feathers, and there's a fabric paint for our history. So there's a bunch of supplies that are unopened. But I do need to stock up on things, uh, card, paper, coloured paper. Um, but I, think we're, I think we're pretty much okay for paint. I'll probably just get some of the Ikea ones, um, the smaller ones. And some paint, new paint brushes, definitely want new paint brushes. Table caddy um, in the living room. I'm just going through it and make sure everything's working and throwing away anything that's run out. This is just a uh, cleaning caddy and I put little plant pots in to hold a her uh, pens and things in, it works really well. I just need to go through and throw anything out that's out. Through all my boxes, I'm being ruthless and throwing away anything that I don't need or that I haven't used for a while. Through some of our art things and seeing if there's anything I want to throw out. There's not just art things in here, there's other things as well. I probably won't throw much out to be honest because I find it really hard <laughs> to throw away your work. So I'll probably um, 
keep most of it. I will obviously have to as the years go by, get rid of it eventually, but for right now. The kindergarten year I want to keep as much as possible because this is when her official journey of education started out, although obviously we did do preschool too. Um, but yes, that's the end of this organising the schoolroom vlog. I hope it was interesting and helpful. If you're back to school already, then I hope it's going well. I'm just about ready to start our holidays, so I'm super excited to have our holidays now. Um, my plans. I've got our school, summer school activities that we're going to do. Nothing too intense. Um, you know, just just lots of fun things, lots of crafts. Oh, I did actually want to show you something. Hang on a sec. On All About Reading's Instagram page, they were giving um, a free download for their ABC Snacks cookbook. And it was so cute, I had to download it, so I'll just show you a couple of the things. And so we'll make some of these over the, the, the um, summer holidays. So they have little recipes um, that you can make for each letter. So ants go munching, alligator veggies and dip, beautiful butterfly snack. I just thought they were so cute. B is for bobbing, banana boy, buzzing bumblebee. It goes all the way through to the, um, the, the alphabet. And then at the back they have book recommendations as well for each of the letters. So if you've got a preschooler then this is perfect for you. Definitely go and grab that free download on their Instagram page. Um, but also, you know, if you're little ones kindergarten or older, they'll still really enjoy these types of things. So definitely going to make some of these over the summer holidays. So that's everything in this vlog. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now.